Here's a special event making news around the parish. East and West Bank residents climbed aboard the recent info tour to see firsthand how tax dollars are put to work every day. This is one of several tours the administration has hosted to give visitors an inside look at parish facilities that few have ever entered. The tour begins at the Emergency Operations Center, currently located in the basement of the courthouse. Visitors get a clear understanding of why the EOC is planning to build a new state-of-the-art facility right across the street, which is now in the bidding process. Regardless of what the event is, uh, there are many different challenges, many different key elements that we have to, to address. Inside the pump stations, visitors learn how operators turn pumps on and off from anywhere in the parish using the remote telemetry system. And we can turn this on and off from here, and we can see we have the voltage that's going through. So it's not just that we have a sensor if it's running. If that sensor goes out and it's running, we can still see that the voltage, the oil pressure, and all that's coming through. At the newly expanded East Bank water plant, residents get a clear picture of why the parish has been awarded the best tasting water in the state for several years. But everything is sealed so nothing can enter the water once it's treated. Right here it hasn't been treated, that hasn't really been treated, that's why you see it open to the atmosphere. But once it passes through this layer of sand and, and anthracite, which you see on the top, that's when it goes into the clear well. So from then on, it's considered drinking water. As the bus drives by the wastewater plants and oxidation pond, citizens are impressed by the well-maintained grounds and the clean, treated water being released back to the river and marshes. We don't disinfect with chlorine here, we disinfect with ultraviolet. A new addition to the info tour is a walk through mosquito control. What it's testing for is the antibodies for West Nile virus. So that's how you find out if the mosquitoes that we crunched up actually were carrying West Nile virus. And if they are, and that's when we go out and we make sure we spray the area a lot. Here, citizens learn that there's a precise science behind those trucks that ride nightly through the neighborhoods. Uh, the way these things are now, uh, a driver cannot spray uh, too fast or too slow. It's all computerized, GPS as well as uh, radar driven. Another first for the tour was a close-up view of the new Cross Bayou pump station, which visitors learned was first put to use during Tropical Storm Lee with great success. Uh, we brought in 15,000 gallons of off-road diesel to run the, the pumps during a rain event. The pump station was manned around the clock. We took out two billion gallons of water throughout the storm event from Thursday through the following Wednesday. And when the tour ended, participants were eager to share their experience. I really enjoyed the tour. It was very informative. We had um, everyone at the locations were glad to explain how the infrastructure works. Um, at each different department and um, it's a good good way to learn where your tax dollars are going and and how the system works so I enjoyed it. I, I thought this was a fabulous trip. Uh, I just moved to the area in Destrehan and there was so much about the parish that I was intrigued by the website and just the information that I've gathered through mail outs and everything and um, Going on this trip just really opened my eyes to everything that really takes place here in the parish and uh, really loved it. Uh, so I'm, I'm very appreciative. I think it's a fabulous thing uh, for the parish to, to open it up for their citizens. The tour was excellent. This is actually my second time taking the tour. Very informative. Uh, the people gave the tour very nice. And uh, it's nice to see our tax dollars at work. You know, the infrastructure of the parish. I've been out here over 25 years and it's really nice to see that what's going on in the parish. The next info tour will take place in the spring. So to learn more, log on to scpinfotour.org. And for more information about all the events making news around the parish, log on to stcharlesparish-la.gov.